Hi, welcome to the Chateau des Colons staff training video. My name is Nick Weaver. I'm a certified sommelier and a fine wine specialist for Breakthrough Beverage, Colorado's premier beverage alcohol wholesaler. I'm here to walk you through what James Suckling calls the most exclusive rosé portfolio in the world, Chateau des Colons. First, let's say thank you to the management for investing in your knowledge. The more you know, the more you get dough. <laughs> First off, let me say thank you to the management for investing in your education. Food and wine knowledge is paramount in upping your check values and getting more cash in your pocket via tips. So thank you so much for putting Chateau de Sclan on your menu and let's get into the education. So let's talk about location. Where is Chateau de Sclan? First of all, these wines come from France, more specifically from the subregion of Provence. Because of Provence's year round moderate climate, the growing season is extremely long our grapes get incredible maturation and they make what's considered the best pink wines on the planet. Provence is in southern France on the Mediterranean coast. The Mediterranean coastal influence is perfect for growing prestigious wines. The winters are very mild, but the summers can get very warm, but are mitigated by the ocean influence. Cooling down the grapes makes for incredible, well-balanced wines. Our winery has the perfect location within Provence. The Chateau is just miles away from some of the most exclusive zip codes in the world, Monaco and Saint-Tropez. This region is known as a great holiday spot for the French, as well as the rich and famous from around the world. And the drink of choice when you're in Monaco or Saint-Tropez is, you guessed it, rosé. So let's talk about history. We know that grapes were planted on our property as early as the 13th century, and our caves where the wine is matured were built in the same era. The beautiful chateau that you see in the pictures was built in the 18th century. It was in about 2006 when a man named Sacha Lachine set out to create the best rosés in the world and founded Chateau Desclan as we know it today. Sacha Lachine was raised in Bordeaux. His father was a general manager of two famous estates, one being a second growth, Chateau Lacombe. Both father and son had endless experience in importing and selling wine around the world. Sacha Lachine had a driving entrepreneurial spirit which led him to Provence to try to create a wine that was different and of a higher pedigree than anything else being produced. In his mind, Provence was the perfect place to make world-class wine and should be known for its incredible rosés on a world scale. Soon after ramping up the winery, Sasha launched his first wine into the US called Whispering Angel. When Whispering Angel first hit the shores of the US, Americans were not drinking dry rosé. Whispering Angel was single-handedly responsible for getting Americans excited to drink dry rosé just like they do in Europe. Whispering Angel today is the number one selling premium rosé in the country and in Colorado. So let's talk about production and how rosé is made. Rosé can be made in a variety of ways, but the majority of rosé is made by taking red grapes and just letting the white juice get in contact with the red skin for a short period of time, usually only a few hours. Some wineries that focus on making red wine will actually bleed off a little bit of pink juice when they're making the reds. This is called the Saunier method. At Chateau de Sclan, all we do is focus on rosé production. So being the most important wine to us, it gets the most care and therefore the most complexity and flavor and deliciousness. Our style of winemaking, we actually co-ferment red grape juice with white grape juice. At Chateau de Sclan, our grapes are grown specifically for rosé production which makes them higher quality. In some ways we use predominantly red grapes and in others we actually use a blend of red grapes and white grapes, which gives us great aromatic freshness. We harvest the grapes at night so that the acidities are at their highest. The acidity helps to maintain that crisp and refreshing feeling you get when you enjoy a glass of rosé. For Whispering Angel and its little sister, the Palm, the wines see stainless steel fermentation, which further preserves the fresh fruit flavor and the fresh acidity. As you can see in front of me, there is more than just the Palm and Whispering Angel. We actually make six total uh, rosés that are considered the best in the world. What we're known for in our higher end wines is barrel fermentation. We're the only winery in Provence to introduce barrel to the wine. Throughout the entire process, the juice is kept chilled. And this is something that takes a lot of work and effort and our neighbors are just not doing it. 
because the juice is kept chilled and away from oxygen, we're able to maintain this very pale salmon color throughout the whole portfolio of wines. So now that you know a little bit about the location, the history, and the production of Chateau des Clans wines, let's get into the wines that you'll be serving. First up is the Palm. You can see that this has a fresh and fun and very summery label. It screams Provence. The Palm is meant for drinkers that are just starting in their rosé journey. The wine is meant to be approachable, fun, and fruity. The Palm is made from Grenache, Cinso, and Carignan, which are all red varietals. Let's give it a taste. You can see in the color, still very pale. I'm getting aromas of fresh strawberry and fresh raspberry. Of course, there's that rose and floral notes. On the palate, it's like I'm biting into a fresh peach. The red fruits are still there, even a little tart white cherry. It's easy and refreshing on the palate, and it still finishes dry. If this wine feels fruity and juicy to you, then great. Our whole goal is for this to give off the element of really ripe fruit, but still be dry. There's actually less than one gram per liter of residual sugar in this wine, qualified as a bone dry wine. You would serve this in a white wine glass like I'm holding now, and pairing wise, I think this would go great with barbecue chicken wings or a Mediterranean pizza. The best thing is that rosé is versatile with many types of food. So let's jump into the wine that started it all, Whispering Angel. Whispering Angel is for the serious rosé drinker, but also for anyone who just wants a little taste of luxury. Whispering Angel is made from Grenache and Cinso, which we mentioned are red varietals, and Roll, which is a white grape. You may know it a little bit better by its Italian name, Vermentino. So whereas the palm is made from majority of red varietals, giving it a more fruity and deep profile, that addition of a white grape to Whispering Angel gives it more of a freshness and a citrus quality that adds to complexity. So let's taste. You can see in the color that it is uh, a paler salmon very light, very beautiful. My first note on the aroma is that it's more herbaceous. There's a term in Provence called Garrigue, and it's used for the wild lavender and herbs like thyme and rosemary that grow wild. The red fruits are there, but they're very light and they're very tart. When I smell it, the color orange comes to mind, which leads me to citrus, orange, and also to cantaloupe, melon quality. One of the first things I notice is the texture. This is so soft and creamy. This comes from our extended maturation period in the stainless steel tanks, which we call surly aging. I know it sounds gross, but lees are just the dead yeast cells. They tend to give a creaminess, sometimes even a doughy character to the wine. It's considered complex and wonderful. The finish is extremely soft and long, and I get a salinity on the palate that comes from the Mistral winds blowing the ocean breeze and salt into the vineyards. Wow, this is delicious. This is luxury in a glass. Because this wine has more tartness and more acidity, you need more acidity on the plate. I would pair this with summer salads, fresh fruit, tart cheeses like goat cheese, and you can't have this glass without seafood. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the lessons and education on Chateau Disclan today and specifically the wines you carry, the Palm and Whispering Angel. Merci beaucoup, Rosé all day.